Hey y'all, join me today as I show you how to make Peter Cottontails, also known as sweet cream cheese balls with coconut. Let me first start off by telling you where the idea of these Peter Cottontails came from. I knew I wanted to make a dessert that was low carb, keto, whatever you want to call it, and I didn't really know what to make. I thought, hey, let me try AI and see if AI can actually come up with a recipe for me. And so I plugged in some ingredients that I already had on hand and it spit out a recipe for me. As I got to thinking about the recipe, I'm like, oh my gosh, these would be perfect for Easter. And y'all, these came out really, really good. So let me show you how to make them. Using a mixer, combine eight ounces of softened cream cheese one cup of unsweetened coconut flakes, a fourth a cup of a zero calorie sweetener, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and half a teaspoon of coconut extract. Once combined, taste the mixture to see if you need to add any additional amounts of the ingredients. The original recipe called for one teaspoon of vanilla extract and three tablespoons of sweetener. This is where I tweaked the recipe to give it a touch more flavor and sweetness. After using the mixer, use a spatula to scrape the sides of the bowl and give the mixture one last good stir. Cover the cream cheese mixture and place it into the refrigerator to chill and firm up. This will take about 30 minutes to an hour. While the cream cheese mixture is chilling, line a small baking sheet pan with tin foil and spray with a nonstick cooking spray. Pour out about a cup's worth of coconut flakes and toast them in a toaster oven. Be careful. Coconut flakes will burn quickly if you aren't paying attention. Trust me, I know from experience. Allow the coconut flakes to cool before moving on to the next step. After chilling, scoop out small portions of the cream cheese mixture and roll them into balls using your hands. Then roll the balls into the coconut flakes for extra texture, flavor, and to look like cottontails. If you don't care for toasted coconut, you can always just roll them in the untoasted coconut. Once all of the mixture has been rolled, place the balls on parchment paper, cover, and refrigerate them for another 30 minutes to an hour to firm up. For a pretty presentation, take any leftover untoasted coconut and dye it green to look like grass. To do this, simply add a few drops of water and green food coloring to the coconut and stir. Place the balls on top of the dyed coconut and voila! You have super cute and delicious Peter Cottontails. Now, my husband and I, we tasted these off camera yesterday after I made them. We had the white cottontail and so today I want to try one of the toasted coconut ones and let you know what I think. Because I used unsweetened coconut, it's not overpowering. That's really good. I thought about adding some zero calorie powdered sugar to the tops and just to give it a little bit extra sweetness, but that is totally optional. That was not a part of the AI um, recipe. <laughs> It was just something husband and I thought of yesterday after we ate one of the white cottontails. We thought it could use just a tad bit more sweetness, um, but I think a lot of you will find this perfect enough. All right, so let's add some powdered sugar. I said powdered sugar and I meant zero calorie sweetener that I've turned into powdered sugar. So I'm just gonna take this and dump it into my sifter. Now I have a napkin underneath the sifter because when I first pour it in, some of it's going to go ahead and fall right through. So um, I've got that, that there to catch it. Anyways, and then I'm just going to shake the powdered sugar over the Peter Cottontails. And I've already done some 
but it didn't look very graceful the way I was filming it. So I'm going to redo that part and I'll put the first time that I did it, I'll put it at the bloopers at the end. <laughs> You don't need a ton. Alright, here they are. Alright, I'm going to taste one again to see what it tastes like. Alright, here we go. that extra sweetener on top. Mm. All right, y'all, that's it. That's how you make Peter Cottontails. I hope you give this recipe a try and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, and then, and get this. Oh no. <laughs> what? Take the coconut and dye it like a light blue. Flake around a little bit and then roll it in the blue coconut. Why? Easter okay, well, that'd be cute. I ain't got time for all that, though, now. I don't have that much yeah, coconut. All, I know. <laughs> you literally have all the time in the world. I don't have you that have much. You have nothing you have to do right now. <laughs> I don't have that much Except coconut go to left. Sleep. Yeah. I could use a nap. I don't have that much um, coconut left, though. Trying to make green coconut. What are you supposed to do? Mix it with water first? Dang it.